the oldest mouthwash I could find versus the newest mouthwash I could find. Let's see which one's gonna win. My name is David, and before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Last time we tested out the world's most expensive mouthwash versus the world's cheapest mouthwash. And to be honest, the cheapest one won. And after I finished that video, I wondered, how would the oldest mouthwash do? So I went on a hunt, a treasure hunt of some sorts. And after searching long and hard through the history books and through those treasure chests, I'm kidding, I actually found it on eBay. I found a mouthwash from 1970. It's made by Listerine. This is their original flavor. It originally came in um, this packaging, but I kind of opened it up because I was so excited to see it. This is like made out of paper. It says that it kills germs by millions on contact. It says that it's for general oral hygiene, bad breath, colds, and resultant sore throats. So apparently this thing gets rid of colds and sore throats. And it also says that it's for minor cuts, scratches, insect bites, and infectious dandruff. So I guess they were using mouthwash for a lot of different things back then, which kind of scares me. Cause I'm gonna put this in my mouth. This is probably expired too, which also worries me. But I mean, gotta do what you gotta do. Before we begin, make sure to comment which one you think is gonna win. It comes in a cool glass bottle. Very luxurious feel to this thing. It kind of looks like a bottle of alcohol or something like that. Which actually makes it pretty cool. I'm very happy I got my hands on this. So without further ado, let's test it out. First, we're gonna need bad breath. Garlic. Woo! That one was Spicy. My breath stinks. Now it's time to rinse. I'm gonna waterfall because it has this like nasty rim at the top. Here goes nothing. I'll give my thoughts at the end. Didn't really work. We're testing that vintage bottle of mouthwash with this. This is a mouthwash made by Core, and it's a plant stem cell mouthwash. But first we need bad breath. Breath still stinks. So I'm really hoping the futuristic mouthwash will make my breath better because I have to get to a Thanksgiving meal. It smells a little funky. Hmm. My mouth actually feels pretty refreshed. Oh, it's a little better. All right, now my thoughts on these two. So let's start with our vintage one. Gotta respect your elders. This is definitely some form of expired. I wasn't expecting it to work so great because it is from 1970, making it 50 years old. It also tasted like straight alcohol um, and it burned my mouth like crazy and it left it very, very dry, which is very bad for bad breath and just your mouth in general, which I didn't like. The flavor, Outside of it tasting like straight alcohol, it had a hint of that, that Listerine flavor. So it's pretty cool that they still kept that. It didn't get rid of my bad breath. So I'm gonna have to rate this a 4.2. Now our mouthwash from the future that actually uses plant stem cell technology to make your breath better, kind of worked. But I didn't really like the flavor of this thing. It tasted like, the taste would be similar to that of something you would clean your house with. I didn't really like that, but it did make my mouth feel very, very refreshed. It doesn't have any alcohol in it, and my mouth actually started producing more saliva after, which is great for bad breath and great for your mouth overall. I feel like this is pretty healthy for you. I just wasn't a fan of the flavor. So I would have to rate this a 6-1. Well, there it is, folks. We have our winner. Let me know what mouthwashes you want me to battle out next. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on my other socials for behind the scenes.